what a day. Aren't I cute? I've just been in such a glorious state in all the vlogs lately, haven't I? Mm, really letting myself go. <laughs> so this morning we had breakfast and whatnot. Then the guy came to install the internet. So we have internet, which is very exciting. Uh, not exciting thing is that it only works really on this floor, the main floor. It does not extend up. So now Rogers apparently doesn't provide extenders themselves and we need to find something else to extend the Wi-Fi. At least we have internet here. It was so great opening the laptop and having internet. It was a beautiful thing. So internet is done and then Dan and I were honestly just like planning out the videos. He's actually going to Vancouver next week so we were just making sure that everything's planned and ready for when he leaves me alone. Might have to do a left alone vlog part two. <laughs> and now we're going to Ikea. I keep like doing this. I don't know why. It's like a weird nervous tick when I'm alone talking to a camera. It's a weird thing. I apologize. We're going to Ikea now. We have a few things we, I did it again. Oh my God. We have a few things we need to buy at Ikea. A few outstanding miscellaneous items for the office and other things. We're going to Ikea now. Hopefully this will be the final Ikea run in a long time. And let's zoom you there to our shopping adventure. Hallelujah, good day, goodbye. <laughs> shelf has been erected. Please don't mind the continuous beauty of my face. Um, this is the little, well, it's one, it's a den. It's a den that's just right by our little front door. And this is going to be Dan's little editing office. This is the office. I don't think we've shown you guys this little room before. It's definitely been a work in progress. We were waiting for a desk to go here. This is Dan's newest exciting shelving unit. We just picked that up at Ikea. And we actually took a little pause. Um, we just went to go scrub, scrub down the old apartment. This will be the last vlog where we're doing this, by the way. Um, hopefully we'll be done after this. Our walkthrough is this weekend, so we'll be, we'll be done. But yeah, we just, finished putting that together and then took a little detour to the old place to scrub some stuff and pack it up and I spilt water all over my shirt which is why I was trying to show you because it's still kind of wet. <laughs> oh, another thing we bought at Ikea were these little paper cardboard boxes which are gonna be our new storage for all of our office goods which is exciting. We were sorting through that earlier. It's really great, really handy, like the perfect size. And it's now 11.36 p.m. and Dan and I are dead. How are you feeling, babe? I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, we have a workout bright and early in the morning, so we're gonna hit the sack and we'll continue the vlog tomorrow, guys. Good night. Hopefully see you in better form tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, we are off to our workout. Not feeling particularly ready to work out, but um, the deed must be done. So, here we go. Hi, finish at 45. Mm, I am sweaty and disgusting, but just came back to our old apartment where it's forever so loud. <sighs> I don't know how we still have shit to move, but it is still happening. So here we are, currently needing to pack up the office because we officially have internet at the new place. So we've just been slowly taking down the monitors and whatnot. And I was just scrubbing the fridge. So to the new tenants, you're gonna have a shiny, squeaky clean Frigidaire for you to put your food and beverages in. <laughs> oh my God, I'm losing my mind. The, the concierge, Kim, she was like, how are you still moving stuff out? I'm like, girl, tell me about it. I know. Another thing we still have yet to move is our beloved arrow garden, which for an update, we have cilantro. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? 
I'm gonna call her Cindy the cilantro. The basil's just been growing out of hand. Like I have trimmed this five million times and it keeps growing and burning, but I, I truly can't keep up with its growth rate, the chives too. They just grow tall and then and then burn. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's like, it's like too many herbs to handle with the cilantro, however. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a little bit disappointed with the cilantro because we bought six pods and <laughs> we have two here. All other of the four, all the other four have died. They have passed, they did not survive. So this is like the only one that has growth, still waiting on this one, hoping it'll grow. But other than that, the cilantro has not been the greatest success. I wanted, I wanted three. I wanted this side to just be cilantro because that's the herb, the herb that we eat the most. But alas, it was not meant to be. So guys, it's just endless in here. This is gonna be the last vlog. Praise be that will include <laughs> the old apartment. But really, this has been our life, just slowly taking things back and forth. And as a conclusion, because all my other moves that you have witnessed uh, in my YouTube life and journey, I've always just moved in one day. And you know, you rent a U-Haul, you load up the truck with all of your things and you do the move in one go. And this time I was like, yeah, like that's so stressful. We're just gonna move slowly. Well, it's August 20th and it's been 20 days of slow moving and we're still not done. So take it from me in this experience, moving slowly is the worst. <laughs> It was nice in the sense of no work interruptions, no Wi-Fi interruptions, that was great. But for your sanity, um, sweat, and never-ending madness, just do the move in a day. Hire movers, hire the frog boxes or whatever that company's called, pack it all up and do it in one go. You will thank me because this has been endless misery. So anyway, we're going to Stroll along, take another load, and we'll see you guys at home. Bye. Hi guys. Hey, howdy. <laughs> so we came back, well, we came back to the home. We ate some brekkie, I showered. I'm having a hair debacle. I need my Kerastase shampoo back in my life so badly. Might have to run to the mall later to get it because I'm using the Gisu one right now and like, I don't know what it's doing, but my hair is just rejecting it. It's not okay, so pony it is. I need to film a video now, which you guys will have already seen at this point, but I wanted to film in natural light, so we brought the camera up to the little closet room here. There's no furniture in this room, so we're gonna need to lay some <laughs> pillows and blankets out, but we're about to bring the the setup the table and the chair and whatnot up here so we can get some natural light for you and we'll uh, crack on with the day you guys can let us know what you think of this setup this little one i just want setups everywhere in this place i want to film everywhere ready to go so first things first my skin is so ah Hi. Honestly, in terms of natural light, nothing beats this camera. The only downside is you can't plug a mic to record audio into the G7X Mark II. And that's why we use the big camera because otherwise the audio sucks. You guys will have already seen it. It is today's video, Friday. <laughs> we had our other video plan go awry. So we had to just film this one the same day. It's not our favorite thing to do because now we'll be editing it and posting it until midnight tonight, but that's okay. TBD on what's gonna happen right now. I think we're gonna go meet Vanessa for dinner, which we're so excited about. She just got in. Uh, she's been gone for a majority of the COVID timeline and her flight got in at midnight last night. Um, so we're super excited to go see Vanessa. We're gonna have to go take this uh, back to the old apartment because the desktop computer is still there. We're gonna edit it. We'll edit and post it there and hopefully in between see Vanessa for dinner. Oh, so let's see. I'm just gonna clean up this mess, put all the filming stuff away, and then we'll we'll head out. Yeah. Not that I showed you my full outfit before, but I changed it to black. And these little shorts, these little fun shorts. I also just slicked my hair into a bun because it couldn't be helped. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? 
for five months. You look stunning. May 25th till today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you do when you don't take oh up god. a free ride. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. What an angle. Good morning, Meryl. I am so sore from F45 yesterday. <laughs> I literally like went to grab this camera and was like, <laughs> Um, We just got a call bright and early on this fine Saturday. You know when like they deliver furniture, they don't give you an exact time, they give you an approximate. And I always, make an ass out of myself and assume that they're not gonna be there early. They're here. We just got a five minute warning. So, good morning, Meryl. Time for talking is not now. And our dining room chairs are here. We'll finally be able to sit and eat. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them. Oh, let's go down and see what's up. Cute. They don't fit. I don't know how this happened. Um, but... <laughs> they don't go under. And this is a problem because without them going under, yeah, it just, it just doesn't fit. They needed to just nicely hide under here. Otherwise, they're beautiful. <sighs> this could have been us today. Oh boy, should we go to Ikea? Maybe we can try EQ3. We didn't look at the dining room chairs there. Well guys, maybe we'll be taking another furniture shopping adventure. We were so excited. Oh man, I'm so excited to sit and eat my breakfast in these chairs. <laughs> Hi, okay, so chairs are a no-go. Woohoo, my nose goes my cheek. Um, we called West Elm and they might have some options in stock. So I'm gonna go check those out right now. And I'm also gonna stop at Sephora <laughs> to get my shampoo to fix this disaster. And hopefully if everything goes well at West Elm, we will be able to pick up some dining room chairs later. Exciting times, guys. Let's go for a little stroll. Okay, <laughs> I just got home from Sephora and I was like shaking, shaking. I was so hungry, so I'm just frying up some chicken and veg for lunch. I put my bathing suit bottom on so that I can go catch some rays quick. <laughs> and I also stopped at Penguin Pickup. So I wanna show you guys a couple of boxes that came in PR. She just loves lurking up there. <laughs> when we're sitting in the living room, she just sits and stares at us through the cracks. She's so funny. Meow. Okay, I just ate my food. It was a delight. I'll show you guys. Just a couple things I picked up. Um, first of all, I did pick up the Kerastase, the resistance line, the, the shampoo and conditioner. Oh. Nope, I bought two shampoos. Well, whoops, I, I did mean to do that. Sorry, this is the conditioner. The little conditioner from the resistance line. Um, I always use the Blonde Absolu line, but I also always had this one. I haven't tried this shampoo, but I sometimes like to mix it together and make sure that I'm using multiple things at once. Like skincare, I never want my hair to like become immune to something, you know? So anyway, bought those, hoping it'll <laughs> fix my hair right now. It's been good to me in the past, so. That's what I picked up at Sephora. I have a little package from Dior. Oh, it's not little, it's a big package. Oh, wowie, wow. Bronze color games, I like the sound of that. What is deal? Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Look at that bronzer, that looks so beautiful oh it's so nice oh my god what a beautiful like bright coral i like the the embossing they've done in this that's the blush there i do wish they would just stop putting the brushes in here that's so nice that's in the shade 431 
431. Okay, let's check out the eyeshadow palettes. There's 287 Dive and 897 Sprint. Let's look at Dive first. I wonder if this is gonna be blue. Yep. <laughs> Not really my eyeshadow color palette kind of style, but I can appreciate the beauty of those hues. And then let's see Sprint, 897 Sprint. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Mm. Look at that orange. What a fun palette, that's so nice. Wow, and then there's some nail polish, some lip glow oils. I think, don't I already have those? Do I already have coral? The coral lip glow oil, the Dior lip glow oils are positively beautiful. Perhaps there's some repeats in here and I can do a little giveaway. There's a ton of stuff they sent, like sugar scrubs, restock my brow styler. Thank you so much, Dior. Super stoked about that bronzer, it looks beautiful. There is a big bag here from Jo Malone. Oh my goodness. Oh, it says, eat me. Okay, what are you? Oh my God, it's a cookie. Nothing excites me more in PR than food. Ooh, fig and lotus flower cologne. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, that, that literally smells like, like a summer beach spray. Mmm. That was not what I was expecting with the name Fig and Lotus. But that literally smells like summer. That's so nice. And then this is Cypress and Grapevine. Cologne Intense. Wow. I, <laughs> that smells like something Dan would like. Like this is a very Dan smell. It smells like a men's cologne. Very nice. Thank you so much. Joe Malone. Okay, this last one is very exciting. It's a new... Charlotte Tilbury mascara, and they've totally updated their packaging, which is great. They've said, Darlings, we are committed to supporting sustainability, and so you can now find all the magic in blue. And this magic mailer, it says, is fully recyclable. That's so exciting. So this is the new mascara. I love that they continue on with the, the pillow talk line, honestly. It's my, my favorite little collection from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> That's such a cute mascara. What a cute, cute package. Thanks, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm excited to try. If your lashes actually looked like this after photo, I'm all for it. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, well that was a couple little packages. I'm going to head out for a little sun bathe and then I'm gonna shower and I'll uh, check back with you guys after I have to film another bit today and we'll see what else we get up to. I have showered. I made an iced matcha latte. New one for me. And uh, gonna film a vid on this sneaky little bad boy right here. Yeah. Let's take some and put it on the skin. It says to apply with your fingertips. Um, you know, it's been a while since I just filmed like a one product chat video. But I felt like this product in particular, the Becca No Pigment Foundation, da, 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 uh, was a product I just had to give my two bits on. But it felt weird. It'd been so long since I'd just done like a singular product chat. <laughs> I feel like that was what so, so many of my videos used to be. Do you guys miss that? Do you guys watch like single product reviews much anymore? I'm super curious to hear your thoughts, but as an update, my hair has been revived. I'm telling you, the Kerastase, like I've been using it for so long, like multiples, however many products from them I've, I've tried and every single one, my hair just like eats it up. Like this is just blow dried. Yeah, wow, I needed that so badly. No offense to the Gisu product. I know so many people love it. The Gisu, Gisu, whatever, honey hair wash. It just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why I really wanted it to because it's so, cute <laughs> but Kerastas, she's the gal for me and my hair so anyway um it is now 5 p.m and dan and i need to run to west elm <laughs> before it closes we're gonna try and snag these dining room chairs fingers crossed for us you guys hopefully our delivery from this morning the the day's debacle will be solved so let's let's run to west elm and try and get the chairs. See you there. All right, guys. We got the dining chairs. Got them on lock. It was so 
great. This West Elm was was lovely. They had things in stock. Um, we are going to get eight. We were originally only going to get four, and that's what we had actually ordered from Rove Concepts. But like these chairs are smaller, so we can actually fit in the the proper amount that this little dining nook is meant for. So we have five now, and then they're just ordering three more, which is great. And shipping, oh, they only charge us $20, which normally shipping with West Elm has been a lot more. Anyway, it was a pleasant experience. We have dining room chairs. This is very exciting. Hallelujah. Well guys, we got three in now. Two more downstairs. And then we just have to wait for the final three to come in and we'll have eight here. So eight chairs fit here. Perfectly. Oh, I am absolutely dripping in sweat. It is like a hot chamber in the garage. Oh my God. Okay, we're just gonna go assemble the others. We grabbed some groceries on the way home. Listen, they're not allowing reusable bags. So I don't wanna hear anything about the plastic bags, okay? Okay. Um, and then we'll make dinner and sit at the table. Ah! All right, guys, the first dinner with tables. With tables? Chairs. At the table. The first dinner at the table. Damn it, we're tired, okay? You guys, the labor that went into building these chairs. The sweat. I can't wait to dive deep into this burger. Good morning, everyone. Tis the next day. We had dinner last night. Our first dinner with our little chairs. And fun fact, it was the first time that Dan and I had ever like sat down to eat dinner in our own home. We've always sat on the floor or at my old place in Vancouver, we had island chairs, but we always just sat in the living room or on the coffee table. We've never had dining room chairs before. I did it like, well, I, like I have had dining room chairs before, but Dan and I, in our time together, but that was the first time we made dinner in our home and sat at a table and it was really cute. Anyway, after, <laughs> after dinner, I couldn't possibly vlog it because I was so exhausted. We went and got absolutely everything. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice has <coughs> left me. Ugh. We went and completely cleared out the place, got the office. <laughs> this is not gonna live here, but we're waiting for whatever. That'll be a, a later date. Um, yeah, we got everything. Everything. <laughs> this is the current state of our living room. And we're officially done moving everything. Today is our walkthrough, so we're going to meet up with the realtor at the old place, do the walkthrough, pass over our keys, and we're done. Done, we are here, that's it. Goodbye, sweet first Toronto apartment. Ah. Well guys, we just got back. Finished the walkthrough, all is good. We officially handed our keys over and we are officially, 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 <laughs> for the third week that we've been talking about it and vlogging it, in our new home. It felt a little bit weird because we've just been there for so long. Like I mentioned before, that's the first time I've ever renewed a lease. Like that's the longest I personally have ever lived in a home at one time. And you know, that's the first place that Dan and I moved into together. I mean, I guess he technically lived with me in Vancouver, like this, you know, this was our little first place, our first apartment together. And you know, so many momentous things in our life happened in this Toronto apartment. Like moving to Toronto was such a, such a random and unexpected and fun time in our adult life. And you know, now that little, that little chapter's closing. It's, it's another, I don't know, just time in life that we're gonna look back on so fondly. Like we were just talking about when we moved to Toronto and how excited we were. Like it was so random and spontaneous feeling and exciting and I don't know. It was just, yeah, I, I'm not really a sentimental person. I don't, I like, guess especially when it comes to moving and homes and whatnot, like I've just moved my whole life, but I definitely felt a little 
not even like sadness, just like a, a, an appreciation moment of like, oh, this was this was like a fun time in our life. You think about when, when you get old, like, oh, you're gonna look back on this and that's gonna be a really cool time to have experience. We have lots of fond memories and lots of love in that apartment and we're so happy to be out of it though because we, we grew out of it in many different ways, not just sizing. Like we just were very much looking forward to the next place that we were gonna live in, so that's that. And it's kind of, it's a weird thing to be showing my life on YouTube endlessly, but you know, it's been seven years. It's seven years of YouTube. And I've lived in many different homes and had many different life chapters. And it's kind of weird to be able to look back, but it's nice. It's nice to have it physically documented for me to look back on in the future. Um, so for those of you who have been with me since the beginning, you know, it's so crazy <laughs> what you've witnessed in this time. Uh, I feel like when, you, when you're growing up, you have so many different versions of yourself and so much of that is impacted um, by the environment that you're living in. So it's interesting to see like where I've lived and how I felt and how I've been, how I've grown up as a person based on where I've lived and where I've been in life and it's kind of cool to be able to see that on YouTube. Like I often actually feel pretty emo. <laughs> I get pretty sad when I look back at videos like in my Calgary days because I just was such a lost little soul. I was such a lost puppy um, and not not happy. Like, and, and I think that now, you know, I, I definitely share less, I guess, but I just feel like I've, grown into myself over the years that I've been on YouTube. You know, I've, I've literally grown up on YouTube, so it's, yeah. Weird little reflecting moments. I think when you move, you almost get the same feeling as like New Year's, like a New Year's Eve feeling. It's like, oh, it's starting of a new year, like a new fresh chapter. It's like a birthday too. Like anytime you go through these shifts in your life, it, it gives you an opportunity to look back on that period of time or that chapter that's closing and be like, oh, okay, interesting. Like this is who I've become in this time. This is what has happened in my life over this time. It's kind of cool. Kind of freaking cool, guys. Listen, it is 29 degrees outside. We have moved officially and I'm gonna go lay out on the freaking patio <laughs> and bask in whatever summer we have left and then, you know, get to editing this vlog so you guys will have it for viewing pleasure on Monday. And I promise you the, the moving chat is, is done. We are here. And now we can just go live and experience life and document it as we go. Fam family, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with this, all this moving chat and debacle. And I'm really excited to very cheesily and lovingly start uh, a new chapter here with you guys and thanks for coming along for the ride uh, I love you all very much and I'll see you all very soon for a new video Bye!